A couple of days ago, I did a video about the sights on my new carry gun, my Chiapa Rhino 40DS and 40 Smith & Wesson. I pointed out that this gun came with the old style target sights. It doesn't have the fiber optic sights like the rest of my Chiapa Rhinos do. It just has the target sights. They're just a blacked out rear, but it is adjustable. Well, in that video, I asked people if they thought I should change out the sights on this gun from the target sights to the fiber optics. And I even created a little poll. Well, surprisingly, the poll results came back 53% that I should change it out to the fiber optics. So I thought, well, I guess I should. I should change it out of the fiber optics. But I'm not changing it out of the fiber optics just because the poll said so. I actually have a few other reasons for why I am going to change this gun to the fiber optic sights. The first reason being, a lot of people pointed out, you know, as you get older, you need a little help seeing your sights. And I am a little older. I'm 50 years old. As uh, a matter of fact, the other days people ask me, uh, you don't look good in your videos. Are you not feeling well? I'm like, I feel fine. I'm just old. I'm 50. People don't forget that. Some people think that I'm like 35 years old. I am not. Uh, the high definition camera should show you that. So since I am older, I need a little help picking up the sights. So I will be able to see the fiber optic sights better. My second reason is a good point that several people brought up in that original video, saying that if you have one type of sights on one gun, you should try to carry that same type of sights through on all your guns. And since most of my other guns have one form of three dot sight, usually night sights, uh, fiber optic sights, etc., I should probably stick to a three dot style sight on this gun as well, since this is my carry gun. And there is a good third reason for why I'm going to go to the night sights. Uh, I know a lot of people have different ideas of how they're going to use their guns. Uh, the old, uh, you know, the 333 rule that you're going to be within a few feet, you're going to fire a few shots, and it's only going to take a few seconds. You know, those kind of rules. So they think, you know, fast acquisition of your gun is the most important part. And I do agree that being able to access your gun quickly is an important part. But I've seen major changes in defensive situations in the last, you know, 10, 15 years even, where maybe that's not as true anymore. We live in a country where personal crime rates are going down. People being attacked by strangers is not happening very much at all. Uh, when it does happen, when we do have massive events, it's usually more of like a terrorist nature. I'm not saying foreign terrorists. I'm just saying, you know, even someone who just snaps and goes and shoots up a school or a mall, etc. And in those situations, if people were prepared, it would be more of a situation of not being where you have to grab your gun out of your belt instantly and fire off a shot. It's to where you're going to want as much accuracy as you can have when you take cover and have to return fire on someone who's firing at other people or approaching you firing. So accuracy, I think, is as important as being able to acquire a target quickly. So since I am more accurate with the three dot fiber optic sights, and I'm one of these people that that's the scenario I see in my head if I ever have to defend myself, I don't go out a lot at night where people are going to mug me or anything like that, or I'm not going to get in a fight where I got to pull my gun quickly. I'm just afraid of being somewhere, someone starts shooting, I have to try to find cover and return fire. That's what I want to be the most prepared for since I think that's most likely. So the three dot sights work best for that. Well, now that I've decided to put the fiber optic sights on here, I ran into one problem. I went to order them from Kiapa and they are out of stock. Now, I know a lot of people think I have some sort of inside track to the company where I can get stuff from them or even get stuff for free, but that is not true. I pay for everything I get from Kiapa just like you would. I have to order it just like you would. And since they're out of these, they're out of stock, I can't order any right now. But I started thinking, you know, I do have the fiber optics on my 5-inch gun. You can see right there on my 5-inch Kiapa Rhino, I have the fiber optics. And since I only shoot this gun at the range, I really don't need the fiber optics. In fact, the target sights might be better on this gun since it's a range gun only. So what I'm going to do is take the sights off this one and put it on my 4-inch that I carry every day. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is take the target sights off my carry gun. There's a screw here that adjusts elevation. You have to take that out and you just have to punch out a little uh, pin right here and they'll come right off. Came right off. Very easy. Now I just have to repeat the process with the fiber optic ones. And now since I've already got this gun out, let's just go ahead and put this one back on this gun. Okay, the target sights are now on the 5-inch uh, gun, so now i got to put the uh, fiber optics on the 4-inch gun. And you know, while I'm doing this, I want to take a moment here to say something uh, kind of of a personal note. Now, I know I don't give you a lot of insight into 
Uh, me personally on my videos, uh, you see a lot about the Yankee Marshall, but you don't see a lot about David. And I wanted to say something today that I, I think I just need to say a little bit, uh, just to honor someone. Uh, Prince died today. Prince Rogers Nelson. Uh, he was a very talented musician, and I think we all have that one musician that defines like a lot of the periods of our life. Like We really remember time periods of our life because of this specific person, and Prince was that musician for me. In fact, I don't even like calling him a musician. He was more of an artist than a musician. And I really loved his music. I looked forward to every one of his albums. I had every one of his albums. Uh, everything from For You On, you know, Dirty Mind, Controversy, 1999, Purple Rain. Before people knew what Purple Rain was, I was already a big Prince fan. And you know, that was back when it wasn't too easy to get his music. The town I lived in was a small town. They wouldn't even play his music on the radio because it was too racy and it was kind of a religious town. So I didn't even get to hear it on the radio. I had to buy them. And that was back when I had a turntable that I spent every penny I could scrape up to get. I had to mow a lot of lawns to get that turntable and to get myself a diamond needle. And uh, I remember when the 1999 album came out, I actually had to ride my bicycle for about 35 miles to go to the alcove over in Gallopolis, Ohio from uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia just to be able to buy the album because no place in town carried it. So, you know, I liked his music a lot and went to a lot of trouble to get it. It wasn't like you can just download it like you can nowadays. So I kind of just wanted to say, uh, pay, I guess, my homage to him that I really enjoyed his music and I'm glad I still have his music. You know, I'm not one of these people who can get sobby about it because I didn't know him personally and I still have his music, which was the most important thing to me. But I did want to say I'm sad for his passing and his music meant so much to me in my life. And, you know, I just thought it was important to say that. But now let's get back to guns. Oh, and one last thing before we go on. If you think you're a Prince fan, top this. I actually, after the Purple Rain movie came out, I actually bought a Honda CB360T motorcycle and had it modified and painted to look just like Prince's bike in the movie. So top that for fanboy status. Okay, so the fiber optics are now on my carry gun. This is a completed project. I really think these sights will serve me better on my everyday carry. And as soon as I can order some more, I might replace the sights on the other gun, but I might like the target sights on it for the range. And if you're someone out there that wants to change sights like these, like target sights, etc., and you get intimidated by these little pins, don't be intimidated by pins. They are super easy to take out. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a little ball on the end of this punch. Just make sure you get a punch like this that's made for roll pins. There's a little ball on the end of it. Keeps you from slipping out of the roll pin and keeps you from smashing the end of the roll pin flat. This is what really makes doing this easy. So there you have it, my new to me, Kiapa Rhino that I bought used, now has new to its sights on it that I think will serve me better. I am ready to rock and roll. So if you've got a gun that you want to change the sights on, as you can see, that was really simple to do. Don't be intimidated, just go ahead and do it because all it takes is a proper tool that doesn't cost much and a little bit of time and you've got a gun that's more suited to your personal needs.